So I'm going to go ahead and start off this look by using my Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm just going to use that to go ahead and fill in my brows. Next I'll be taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, it is the matte one, and I'm just going to go ahead and use that to prime my lids and also clean up my brows. I think this is a really good concealer to prime for eyeshadow. I find it really comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline The Rock Nudes Palette. I don't see this palette a lot anymore, so Morphe, I believe, has a new one. It's one of their nine pan palettes. I would check out that one. It's like for smoky eyes. And I'm basically taking the two deeper shades of this palette, so the deeper gray and then the black tone, and I'm applying that from the outer corner into the inner corner of the eye, and then I'm taking that same e.l.f. camo concealer to cut the crease. Once that's done, I'm going to take a dense Sonia Kashuk brush and blend that out and use the light gray tone, almost light nude, in the palette to set that concealer. You'll see that it's a nice light nude so that there's obviously a contrast between the half cut crease and the outer corner. Of course, I take the same brush that I use for those deeper shades and I want to blend out so that the lines are not too harsh in between the different shadows. And I'm going to take my favorite eyeliner, which is the e.l.f. liquid liner, and I'm going to line my eyes. This is the best liner ever. I don't think I'll ever stop using it. It is a very good liner. So next we're going to move on to the skin. So to prep my skin, I'm using my Cetaphil moisturizer with SPF in it to moisturize the skin and then I'm going to take my elf poreless putty primer and I'm going to apply that um, as a primer of course I really like this primer I feel like it really fills in my pores and it creates a nice soft base for my makeup I'm using the morphe fluidity foundation um, the shades will be down below if you guys are interested and I'm just gonna blend that out with my morphe beauty sponge If you see me looking off to the side, it's because I watch YouTube, specifically Brittany Vaughn, when I do my makeup because she's bomb and she gives me inspo and she's entertaining. We love her. We stand her on this channel. So next I'm going back into the e.l.f. camo concealer and I'm applying that just in the places I like to highlight. So underneath the eyes, I'm going to do the nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and my chin. And to make us look a little bit skinnier on the jawline. I also like to put the excess product on my lips just to kind of create a blank canvas for my lipstick. So now I'm going to take my Derma Blend setting powder in shade Cool Beige. This is one of the best setting powders I have ever used and I'm going to use that to set where I highlighted. It's so good. I'm also going to take my Sonia Kashuk brush and kind of blend that all over the skin as well to set everything so we can get prepared for our powder contour. The powder gets everywhere, so be careful with what you're wearing, but it's okay. I'm next going to go into my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in shade Tawny Mommy. Right now, they're on sale at Ulta. Like, they're not. I don't know what's going on. They're like 8 bucks, 10 bucks right now, so I'd go and grab them. I really like it. I like the formula of it, and I like the shade. I feel like Tawny Mommy is my perfect bronzer shade, so I always go back to this one. I'm going to use that to just go ahead and bronze, of course, and I'm using a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush. I believe that this is the blush brush out of that collection, but I also like to use it as a contour brush as well. And I like to take a big, clean, fluffy brush to 
buff out everything so that nothing is harsh. And I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set everything in place. I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have to say it's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras and I'm just going to use that to lengthen the lashes. We don't need falsies. She creates that false effect. If you don't believe me, try it. Not me searching. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Lip Liner in shade Cola. And I'm going to line my lips. I love this lip liner. It's such a pretty shade. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It may look crazy, but trust the process. I use that to create like the gradient ombre effect. And then I take my KKW lipstick in one of the nude shades. It's nude 1, I believe, or nude 2. I'm now taking the same Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette and I am using the deeper toned grays in there to smoke out the lower lash line because I like to complete my looks nowadays like that. I'm going to set my face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to apply my Buxom Lip Plumping Gloss to the center of my lips and that will be it for this video. Thank you for shopping. Thank you for shopping with us. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.